Down that pot. Don't bother with your old deaf mother. After all, time is money, Mr. Fousey. Time is money. If you'd be good enough to take a seat, Mr. Fousey. You're wasting your time in a very irresponsible manner. I'd like to prove this to you with a simple little computation. One minute contains... Excuse me, please. I'm freezing to death. It contains 60 seconds. An hour is 60 minutes long. Can you follow me? 60 times 60 is 3,600. There are 24 hours in a day, 365 days in a year. That gives us a grand total of 31,536,000 seconds per year. How old are you, Mr. Fousey? 42. 42. 42. Life to date, that makes uh, 1 billion, 324 million, 512,000 seconds. That's an impressive figure, wouldn't you say? How long do you generally sleep each night, Mr. Fousey? Eight hours. 441 million, 504,000 seconds of time you just throw away. How much time do you have to consecrate to your profession each day? About eight hours. That means we'll have to add that same amount to the minus column. Hmm. Seconds. How much time do you need each day for all meals? Two hours. 110,376,000 seconds, to be exact. You live alone with your old mother. Every day, you consecrate a full hour to the old lady. That means you sit and talk to her, despite the fact that she's deaf and hardly hears a word. Make that uh, 55,188,000 seconds. We also know that you go to the movies once a week, that you rehearse with a glee club once a week, that you spend two nights a week with your friends in a tavern. Sometimes you've even been known to read a book. In short, you kill time with these useless activities at a rate of three hours a day, which gives us a total of... 165,564,000 seconds. Is anything the matter, Mr. Fousey? We'll be finished in a second. But... But first we have to address ourselves to another specific chapter... of your life, Mr. Fousey. You have a little secret. You know what I mean? You know that, too? I thought, apart from me and Miss Daria... Are you planning to marry Miss Daria? No, that would never do. <laughs> Nevertheless, you visit her half an hour every day to bring her... Uh, to bring her a flower. Why? Because she enjoys them so much. But, regarded objectively, that's nothing but time lost for you, Mr. Fousey. <laughs> A meaningless waste of time. A sum total of... Uh, think of it. A sum total of 27,594,000 seconds. And if we add to this that you have the habit of sitting at the window and thinking about the day gone by every day before you go to sleep, then we have to deduct an additional figure of 27,594,000 seconds, which adds up to 1 billion... 324,512,000 seconds, to be exact. Now then, Mr. Fousey, let's see what's left of the 42 years of yours. Well, nothing, zilch. That's the balance of your life to date, Mr. Fousey. Wouldn't you rather start saving some time? I sure would. What do I have to do? 
My dear friend, surely you know how to save time. And I'm left over. Do I have to turn it in? And if so, where? Don't you worry about that. You just leave that little detail to us. You can be sure that not one second of that time you save will get lost, Mr. Fuzzy. Here! They didn't have any yellow ones in the store, so I picked one from my uncle's garden. Mr. Fuzzy, you okay? What the heck? Well, what is it? You, you look pale. Something wrong? What is wrong now? What did I do? Was somebody here? I... Nobody. I didn't see anybody. Where have you been all this time, huh? Come on, Leo. Time is money. You hear me? So get busy and don't waste time. They didn't time. have any yellow ones, so I decided to, to, to look at the garden. Get rid of it. They're pretty. Rid of it. But why? Because I said so. Take this upstairs at once. But you told Do me as that you were going Now go. Fast. Fast. Yes, but... Go on. Okay. Faster. Hurry okay. up. Time is money, you hear? Time is money. And that's that. Fousey wasn't the only one who made the acquaintance of these remarkable gray gentlemen. They made their presence felt in all parts of the city and seemed indefatigably occupied. They had plans for people's time, wide scope, and meticulously prepared plans. Nobody in there. That's my business. Please ways this place is booked up for you. You just drive my customers away. Do you think your cheap wine is ever going to pay my rent, eh? Go, go, go! He must be crazy. What's the matter with him? We pay for what we drink, don't we? And I don't ever see you around my place again. Do you understand? Get lost! 